I brought this lamb in here. It's a little female yo lamb, and it's from one of the triplets. And she was tucked in so tight with her siblings that her hawk, or sorry, her pastern, which is this little part here, was bent over like this, and is, so it's really weak. So what I'm doing is, I'm giving her little braces to straighten out the the um, her like her fetlock area, and this will give it strength. She'll only have this for two days. What I'm using is a bit of kitchen roll, and I wrap it around the supportive end, so the back side of her leg like that, and then strap it in so that the foot is exposed. You can see the foot's exposed, so that she can then stand up. And this way she'll be able to stand up. At the moment, she is, she's nursed, but she's having a real struggle and her siblings are getting more than she is. So she'll have these strap-ons for maybe two or three days. And by that stage, the weakness, she'll have grown into them. And I'll take her little um, splints off. So a little bendy girl, poor bendy girl. But sometimes you get this when you have, um, either huge twins or triplets that are all tangled amongst each other. Towards the end, they they get tucked in so much that they this part of their anatomy is weak for standing up. So in giving her little red bandaged legs, she'll be able to stand up and nurse fine. She's very healthy, aren't you? Sweet baby. This is iodine that on her muzzle. So I'm going to keep wrapping these and she'll have four red legs. How's the boys? How's the boys? How's the boys? Empty bottle. Oh God, you're getting all over my lap. There's little red legs right there. <sighs> you are two bold boys. You've had a bottle each nearly. Piglets. Absolute piglets. Aren't you? Yes. Okay, I've got to go feed dogs. Mm -hmm. Yes, little red legs. You had your bottle first, didn't you? There's little red legs. She's gathering herself to try and... Let's go. Oh, you're walking. You clever baby. I'm finishing feeding these two bolshy boys. Oh, you fell down on your knees again. So these two boys are having their breakfast. I feed little red legs first. And, uh, but she walked. That was brilliant. That's the first time she's walked. Clever red legs. Now, here, you can have the last bit of this. Can you get it? Good boy. There's an audience. Bear. The bold she-wolf. And the big fella. Ay, 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 ay! Of course that happened. Inca, you should have told them not to do that. Okay, oh, and you've just finished the bottle. 
Okay, I now have to tie that up. I don't know how it fell down. I thought I'd tied it up. So, babies, breakfast times for humans and canines. We're hungry too. You've had plenty of milk. Two empty bottles to show that you've had plenty of milk. And I've got to set up your gate. <laughs>